Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to create this type of image slideshow inside Filmora 13. So without any further delay, let's start video. First drop the background on track 1 and make it 13 seconds long. Now to create image with frame and text, go to the stock media and drop white solid color on track 2 and make it 13 seconds long. Then unlink the scale and change X to 36 and Y to 84. Then drop first image on track 3 for 13 seconds. Then change scale to 66 and adjust the Y position to 60. Go to the mask and select parallel line mask. Increase the width. Then place the playhead at 15th frame. Go to the titles and drop default title at playhead position on track 3 and make it as long as other clips. Then change text to best wishes. Then change font to shiny sign. Then change font size to 40 and font color to black. Then scroll down and use transform to change the position of the text and place it lower side of the image. Then go to the animation and select typewriter and change duration to 1. Now select all three clips Copy them and create a compound clip. Then select track 3 and paste the copied clip. Now select the image, press and hold Alt key and drop second image on current image to replace it. Now change the text, select all three clips, copy them and create a compound clip. Repeat the same process to create more image with frame and text. Now hide track 6 to track 3, then place the playhead at 1 second and place the track 2 clip at playhead position and make it 13 seconds long. Then at start, change scale to 236, x to minus 98, y to minus 1466 and rotation to 2 and on keyframe for scale, position and rotation. Then after 6 frame. Change scale to 76, x to 21, y to minus 219 and rotation to minus 9. Then at 2 seconds and 3rd frame, change x to minus 48 and y to minus 36 and rotation to minus 36. Then place the playhead at 2 seconds and 18th frame and place the second clip at the playhead position and make it 13 seconds long. Then change scale to 142, x to minus 1425 and on keyframe for rotation, position and scale. Then at 3 seconds and 3rd frame, change scale to 76, x to 34, y to minus 5 and rotation to 1. Then at 3 seconds and 22nd frame, x to 182, y to minus 47 and rotation to 16. Then place the playhead at 4 seconds and 17th frame. Place the third clip at the playhead position and make it 13 seconds long. Then at start, change scale to 145 and Y to 1377 and rotation to 31 and on keyframe for scale position and rotation. Then at 5 seconds, change scale to 76 x to minus 60 and y to 152 and rotation to 11. Then at 5 seconds and 20th frame, change x to minus 82, y to minus 15 and rotation to minus 7. Then place the playhead at 6 second and 10th frame and place the fourth clip at the playhead position and make it 13 seconds long. At start, Change scale to 131, x to 1591, y to 334 and rotation to 18. Then at 6 seconds and 19 frame, change scale to 76, x to minus 44 and y to 33 and set rotation to minus 18. Then at 7 seconds and 10th frame, change x to minus 296 and y to 33 and rotation to minus 5 
then place the playhead at 8 seconds and place the fifth clip at the playhead position and make it 13 seconds long and follow the same process to create image animation. So this is what we got so far. Looking perfect to me. Now to create a shadow depth on falling image, select first clip and on drop shadow, place the playhead at third frame of the clip, then change the shadow color to black, then change shadow angle, increase distance to 26, set blur to 10 and on shadow keyframes. Then after 3 frames, change distance to 1, blur to 2 and opacity to 50. Now follow the same process to create shadow depth on other clips. So this is what we will get. Now to create a smooth animation, select the first clip, click on keyframe panel and select the second keyframe and change them to ease in. Now select the second clip and select the second keyframe, change them to ease in. Repeat the same process on leftover clips. Now let's render the project to see the preview. So this is what you will get. Then go to the titles and drop the Christmas gold title on track 7. Double click on it and remove the text. Then create two more copies on same track and keep it for 13 seconds. Then convert it into a compound clip. Then go to the mask, select pen tool and create a mask on her inner side to remove the stars. And then invert the mask. Now place the playhead at start. Select background, change scale to 120 and set rotation to 5 degree. And on keyframe. Then at the end, change rotation to minus 5. Then select all images compound clip and create another compound clip. Then at start, set rotation to 5 and on keyframe. Then at the end, set rotation to minus 5. Now shift this compound clip to track 3 and at start, change scale to 115 and set rotation to 5 and at the end set rotation to minus 5 then if you want you can do some color adjustment of the overlay compound clip then go to the video and on drop shadow to create a depth then go to the effects and at one second drop the fast lens blur effect and extend it till 13 seconds. Then in effect settings, select effect mask and create a mask on the inner part by including some part of the leaf which helps in creating a fake camera depth. Then increase the blur stand. Then set iris to 3. For more depth, adjust the mask so that more leaves will be visible. Now under effects, search for light leak and apply light leak 18 on track 5 and make it 13 seconds long. Then convert it into compound clip and set scale to 233 and blend mode to screen. Then drop the leak light compound clip again and flip it and set opacity to 80 and change blend mode to lighten. Then apply particle snow clip and keep it for 13 seconds. Then change blend mode to screen. Then apply auto enhance effect. Then apply S log 3 effect. Change opacity to 20. Then apply C log 2 and set opacity to 30. Then apply sharpen effect. Finally apply fast lens blur at start for 1 second. At start set iris to 10 and on keyframe. Then at the end set it to 0. 
Now let's render the project to see the final preview. That's it. This is how you can create this super cool image slideshow in Filmora 13. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel for more awesome tutorial. See you all in my next video. Till then, stay safe. Goodbye.